Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a very exciting album that I just listed on the website needlemeetsvinyl.com and it is an album by The Beatles and it is their album known as The Blue Album uh, but officially titled 1967 to 1970. This is of course a compilation, it is a double album and this is an album that a lot of people, including myself, this is, was their first introduction to the Beatles along with, let me pull this one out a little bit tight in there, along with the Red Album. So these two albums were released at the same time in 1973 and they are essentially just a Beatles Greatest Hits compilation. Now of course for the Beatles it's very hard to put together a Greatest Hits compilation because almost every song they ever recorded um, was is just fantastic. But with these two um, these two albums, the Red and the Blue, uh, it was a lot of people's early introduction into the Beatles, especially for people who didn't grow up in the 1960s with the Beatles. Um, and for me, especially, these two albums were huge, huge uh, influences for me, especially getting into the Beatles. Now, this particular pressing is a German pressing, and I'm sure you've heard me talk about the Red Album before um, in my other video, which was also a German pressing. I love the German pressing for these two albums. They are absolutely brilliant. And this one is going to blow your mind. Whoever ends up picking this one up on the website, this is so fantastic. It is an absolutely special, special pressing. Now, let me show you what it looks like here. It is, of course, on the Apple label, but it's on the Apple label with a blue background. And these records are so close to mint, it is not even funny. These are absolutely just brilliant, brilliant condition records. And there's the second side, of course, with the cut open Apple. Now, the thing, the, the tracks on here that really, to me, stand out as just so phenomenal are the song, first of all, the first song on the first side, Strawberry Fields Forever. This is the way, in my opinion, to hear Strawberry Fields Forever in stereo. It is so brilliant on this pressing. First of all, the stereo image is so wide, so wide, and you can just hear all of the beautiful space in between the instruments, and it's just got so much clarity, so much low-end rumble. Um, the drums are so heavy. In fact, that's the number one thing I uh, talk about on the write-up that I did for this album on my website. I talk about how heavy the songs sound from 1967 that the Beatles recorded, especially on this pressing. It's just a very, very, very special uh, pressing here. And I'll show you the other record too, just because I have it. So I might as well show you. And of course, here is side three and side four. And I'm being careful, of course, to just touch the edges. Um, and both the records are both in just beautiful near mint condition. And in my opinion, when it comes to these compilations, the blue and the red albums, I think if you're going to own even any Beatles compilation, these are the ones to own, the red and the blue. It covers a lot of ground. Granted, if you're a true Beatle fan, you want to own all the albums. But if you're just a casual fan, although I don't know if that exists as far as when it comes to the Beatles, but if you're just a casual fan or maybe you're just getting into the Beatles or perhaps you're just starting your Beatles record collection, these two albums are great, great starting points. And if you are looking to get really high-end audio uh, and really kind of just kind of jump into... Um, really stellar pressings, these German pressings are the way to go. And this one especially is even, it just has a little bit of an extra bit of magic um, that, uh, the, that these German pressings are known for, but this one, I don't know if it's just because it's just so close to mint that it's just a little bit better than all the other ones I've ever heard, but it's just a very, very special one. So if you are in the market, for this album, go to my website, needlebeatsvinyl.com, and uh, pick this one up. Because as I say with all of the Beatle albums, and you're probably tired of hearing me say this, but it's true, this will go very quickly. So act now if you want to pick it up. So 
That's it for now. So go to the website, needlemeetsvinyl.com. Check out this album and uh, check out all the other albums on the website because there might be something on there that uh, will interest you. So that's it for now and uh, have a great weekend. Bye for now.